Hello there, it's Ellie here and a very, very warm welcome to you to my day number seven of our seven day challenge for affiliate marketing. If you have made it right through the whole um, seven day course, then a massive congratulations to you. And you, you, you know, you should know that you're probably in um, a, a minority. There's probably only about maybe 10% of the people who have actually started the challenge um, continue right through and follow every day right through until day seven. So yes, congratulations. Um, I do hope that you find the training really, really useful. And, you know, I have done as much as I can to make it, um, as, you know, give as much information as I can and as much guidance as I can, um, but not make it overwhelming. So today then, today is going to be all about the follow up. Now, I'm absolutely sure that you have heard this um, this quote before when if you've been working online. And the quote is, of course, the fortune is in the follow up. It's a bit like saying the money is in the list. You know, there's there's all of these little kind of snippets of information out there um, and they are so true. Um, but the problem is most people don't actually, you know, teach you how to do any of these things um, or they, they only teach you a tiny little bit. You know, what I've been doing in this course is try to literally take you from um, from start to finish, including all of the important steps and, um, you know, including all of the things that I have found personally that actually have made me successful. Okay, so what do I mean by the fortune is in the follow up? Well, I have a few statistics here um, that are going to help me explain. So first of all, 48% of people never follow up with a new prospect. So, you know, that's almost half. <laughs> half of the prospects are never even getting a second kind of look. 25% <laughs> of people make a second contact and stop. So again, you know, so, so straight away, that's like 75% <laughs> of, of your prospects have gone already. 12% of people only make three contacts and stop. Only 10% make more than three contacts. So then we go on to the actual sales figures. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. And this, this is why so many people find affiliate marketing really, really hard, because what they're trying to do is to make a sale on their first contact. And as you can see here, it's only 2% of sales that are made that way. So, you know, that 2% is, as I said before, mostly to do with luck. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, once you actually get into the skill side of things, then you will start to see your sales and, and your uh, team members as well your recruiting and in figures increase. 3% um, of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. But 80% of sales are made on the fifth to the twelfth contact. So this is why email marketing is so powerful. Because what happens is by, you know, sending out uh, your, your emails regularly, what you're doing is you are following up with every single person, you know, over and over and over and over again. And, you know, the, in my experience, in fact, I have a little story. I, uh, I had somebody contact me, um, was it two days ago, three days ago? Um, who had been on my email list for at least four or five years and I had never spoken to them. They had never joined anything that I um, that I shared. They sent me an email to say, OK, I'm ready to start now. <laughs> after after four or five years of them constantly getting my emails. Now, they were they were opening them. They were reading them, but they just weren't ready. So, you know, and I send pretty much daily emails. So you, I'll let you count up the, the number of contacts that took. But anyway, my point is that if you want to be successful online, then you need to learn how to follow up. 
Now, because of the way Simple Steps to Success is created and how I have generated the system, it means that I can be doing all of the follow-ups for you um, in terms of the emails and all that kind of thing. I will also then be able to teach you if you want to get to the point where you actually want to do those follow-ups yourself, all that kind of stuff. So that is all about following up. However, this um, idea of, you know, like the number of contacts and, you know, the number of sales um, that are made, this doesn't take into consideration one of the main things that allows um, somebody to become a very successful affiliate marketer. The main thing that, you know, enables affiliates to actually generate very, very high level income is because of customer loyalty. In other words, you've got people who are on your contact list who, who buy products over and over and over and over again. You know, they, they might be, they might buy the same product over and over again or you know they might have a subscription to something so they're paying every month um, they might also buy um, you know every new product that you uh, present to your customer base you know sometimes um, you know if you imagine that one customer can literally generate you thousands and thousands of dollars or pounds worth of um, commissions if, you know if you have 10 customers like that on your list then you're going to make a lot of commission. If you have a hundred people like that on your list, then you're going to make a lot more. Now, if you imagine like um, the people who are called like super affiliates, they are the people who maybe have thousands and thousands of people like this, um, you know, loyal customers who will buy the products um, from nobody else but them. And, uh, you know, so this is how they, they, the income that can be generated through affiliate marketing becomes an absolutely astonishing amount. Okay, so let's stop and have a think then about actually how to build customer loyalty. Now there are a few things, well actually there's quite a lot of things involved in this whole process, but there's a few very specific um, things that, that um, we know helps to build customer loyalty. Number one is of course having customer satisfaction. If you don't have a satisfied customer then they're going to go elsewhere. That's it's as simple as that. Um, now as well as them actually being satisfied with you know the the service that you're providing then there are additional um, things that are um, involved in actually building that loyalty. So as it shows you here in the pyramid it's all about moving up the way. So customer satisfaction is the, you know, the very basic um, thing that's required. And then you're talking then about giving them more than they actually expected. So giving people more value, giving people more time, giving them a bit more support, whatever it is. Um, you know, those things are all very important in building loyalty. The next thing is about making them feel special or make you know making them special in some way should they be a, you know a, like a, a VIP member or should they be you know the person who gets to to see your offers first or you know something that makes that person feel special things like remembering um you know a, a name remembering their a, a child's name or remembering that they've been on holiday you know all those kinds of things if you can actually, you know, building up the relationship with that person and you're getting to know them. But if you actually remember um, somebody's name, for example, think about if you go into, a, you know, a, a large shop and the person behind the counter remembers your name. You know, how, how special is that going to make you feel? So all of those things are very, very important. In addition, then you can have like special incentives. So for, you know, for people who perhaps are um, repeat customers, then, you know, why not give them some kind of a, a, an incentive? Why not give them some discounts? Um, you know, all those kinds of things 
are going to really, really help to build customer loyalty. Now, with knowing all of these things that are important to actually build loyalty and, um, you know, for it to help you to get repeat sales, then a lot of these aspects are already built into Simple Steps to Success. For example, let's start at the bottom, customer satisfaction. The first thing that is important, um, you know, for me as, as the admin of Simple Steps is that I am providing quality sites, quality um, information, and uh, that the, the information that I'm providing is genuine and, you know, that there's no scams involved, there, everything has been checked, all of those kinds of things. All of that is all to do with creating customer satisfaction. Because if somebody tries one site and they find that it does actually work and it does say what we tell them <laughs> that, it, that it does, then they're going to be satisfied. And the chances are then they are more likely to try something else that we suggest. Um, the second part of it then is giving, um, giving your customer more than expected. Again, this is something that I'm personally working on with the site. Um, for example, creating this um, seven day challenge, um, uh, adding all sorts of different, um, you know, like the free training, for example. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, always trying to do what I can to add additional value to the actual site, Simple Steps to Success. Now, moving on again, then making them special. Well, I mean, every single member is special to me personally. However, um, what I do is I also then, whenever I'm sending the emails out to people, um, you know, I am sending those emails out on your behalf. And what I do is, you know, I, I write my emails in a certain way um, to try and uh, make that person feel special. You know, although they know that they are, you know, a subscriber and there's lots of people getting the emails, for example, um, I will include certain things in those emails that will help um, that person just to feel a bit more special. Incentives. Again, you know, as the site develops, then I will be offering all kinds of different incentives. Um, I will be able to offer um, discounts on certain things or, you know, um, like free training or whatever it is. All of those kinds of things, then I will be, um, you know, taken care of um, on your behalf. Now, that doesn't mean to say that um, you don't have anything at all that you can add to this. You know, for example, um, I was saying, was it in yesterday's video? Um, I was saying about, you know, contacting the people on your, uh, on your contact list, you know, actually sending them a personal email, reaching out to them and asking them, you know, um, is there anything about the site that you, you're not sure of? Um, is there anything that you need a bit more assistance with or clarification? Whatever it is, if you actually are the person who are starting to to do that with your customers or with you know with your people on your contact list in addition then to all of the other things that I'm doing then it's going to make them feel even more special you're going to be able to give them additional support you're going to be able to um, you know be more um, personalized with your service all of those things are important when it comes to building loyalty so while we're talking about customer loyalty, <laughs> we'll have to talk about, well, what next? What, what are we going to do next together? Um, obviously, um, I will be cl um, creating lots more training courses, lots more, um, you know, uh, challenges and, and adding. I, I've got so many things, honestly, that I really want to add to the site. Um, however, uh, you know, I'm doing it all myself. And um, as you probably know already, I do have some major health problems and things like that. So, you know, I will be doing those things as quickly as I can. Um, but <laughs> I, I'm only one person. So anyway, um, what next? Um, the, the plans that I have 
um, for my next um, training course to be providing is uh, is a regard to um, creating an unlimited advertising budget and of course you know if we if we continue on with the affiliate marketing if you have an unlimited advertising budget then you know you're you're literally it's going to be very hard to actually fail so you know that's that's what i want to do next so hopefully um you will join me whenever i have actually created that next part of my training um what else I think that's, to be honest with you, I think that's probably all I have to say. <laughs> I feel like I'm letting you out of school early today. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the uh, the next part really um, for you is all about, you know, making sure that you are consistent, making sure that you are promoting. Um, hopefully I have helped to uh, explain why you should be promoting Simple Steps to Success and how effective that that um you know doing that will be for you and of course what i'm doing is trying to help you to build your business for the future and you know creating your contact list um creating the the training teaching you all the different skills all of those things i'm trying to do to help you to become more and more and more successful and you know i'm i am planning to just keep going <laughs> so yes with with that said um i think it's time just for me to stop talking <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed the training and uh yeah i hope to see you on the next one okay take care as always and happy promoting <laughs> bye